Welcome to Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles. I'm Daniel C. Potts with my co-host Edie Hand, and it's so good to be here with you again. It's great Dr. to be Potts. with you too, Edie. And we have got a great show for the folks today. We do. Faye Robinson uh, really has an amazing story to tell us uh, about internet safety and kids. It is, and building our children's self-esteem, and I partnered up with her too on with my book of 31 Things to Raise Your Child's Self-Esteem with Dr. Judy Kuriansky, and the whole goal was to create a safer, uh, more educated um, environment, you know, so that we can have our children looking at the internet and feel good about it, or helping them to be prepared in their schools and not be bullied about different issues. So it's a very interesting topic we're going to very talk about. Very important. I've got two girls that are in their teenage years right now, and the importance of internet safety and, and how to interact and how to prevent bullying is so important. Absolutely. Self-esteem, very, yes. very important. And you know, we also have Steve Condren. He is a college friend of mine. Listen, I tell you what, being <laughs> in the background listening to you and Steve interact and tell jokes and laugh, I, I, I mean, I had the best time. With well, it was wonderful. You know, he uh, gave me a hard time in college to tell me I was a teacher's pet, but really, I think he was. <laughs> I can uh, see where you both would be, actually. <laughs> but it was, what he's done is makes a difference in people's lives as a uh, minister of his work, of what he does, and in Christian publishing, and just out there to say, hey, let's help build our kids' self-esteem and give them the proper tools to do it. Well, being around him, if I was a kid, I, I, I tell you what, I'd have some high self-esteem. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And of course, you know, we're also going to be talking to Susan Voyers. Yes. yes. Talking about uh, brain tumors and accidents and now her son was in an accident that caused uh, paralysis and through brain injury and it's a very inspirational story. You know, uh, as a neurologist, I'm around folks all the time who amaze me with their caregiving stories about how to deal with someone that has had a brain tumor or a brain injury. It's very, very inspirational. You won't want to miss that. Absolutely. So stay with us right here on Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles and coming up next is Faye Robinson. Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles is brought to you in part by Boyette Health Services of Alabama, offering complete medical and dental care. Enjoy the latest books from Edie Hand, a portion of sales benefit charities such as St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Visit www.ediehandfoundation.org or your local or online bookstore. Pick up your copies today. A Pocket Guide for the Alzheimer's Caregiver by Dr. Daniel Potts and his wife Ellen helps you understand this disease and get the best care possible. Go to alzpocketguide.com or any online bookstore for your copy. I'm motivational speaker and author Dale Smith Thomas and my philosophy has always been we should be hope dealers, helping other people excel. Log on to my website winnersbychoice.com for your free motivational gift. Let's all change the world. There's an art to making tea. At Red Diamond, it begins with tea leaves and nothing else. We remove the stems and twigs that come with the tea, leaving just the leaf for a flavorful, refreshing taste. There's an art to making the perfect pitcher of tea, and we practice it every day. Drink fresh, drink Red Diamond. You're watching Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles with Edie Hand and Dr. Daniel Potts. Welcome into Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles with Edie Hand and Dr. Daniel Potts. Joining me is entrepreneur Faye Robinson, and we're going to be talking about our kids and things we can do to help them to educate them a little bit better on things in life. Welcome, Faye. Thank you, Edie. Thank you for having me. Well, it's my pleasure. You know, I'm passionate about kids uh, like you are. Yes, I have to be passionate about them. I'm having Seven, or seven grandchildren and a great grandchild. Wow. So I You've been do. married to the same man 53 years, I heard. I have, 53 years. We, uh, I, sh I could say I got married at three, but nobody would believe me. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> but yes, uh, I am very passionate about children and especially their safety on the internet. Well, tell us a little bit about that. I mean, you're an entrepreneur and how this came about for these programs that you're doing to network and educate for our children. Well, it's all come about by some people who took this on as a challenge to make the internet safe for our children. So there's been a tremendous amount of effort and money put into bringing this browser about. And on surfinkids.com, that's S-U-R-F-N-Kids.com, you can learn a lot more about it. But 
what it ha what it brings to our families and our children is the ability for them to get on the internet safely. They can surf, they can play educational games, and the good part about those games is that they win money, like moolah, like hey, monopoly type money. I don't know any kid that didn't want to win money. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? <laughs> but then they also get to spend that money because there's an eBay type auction on the site that they can go out and then spend that money. Because see, they learn how to manage their own bank account type situation. That's cool. They play the educational games. They find out all there is to know about uh, things. And, and Shrek is a big uh, proponent in this. And there's been a lot of people that have, have put their support behind it, a lot of the Hollywood stars. And Symphony, who is Disney's new uh, Nickelodeon star, is uh, behind it, and so if you go on the website that's surfbenkids, S-U-R-F-N.kids.com, you can do it too, Edie. You know, I love that. I mean, that's something that's global then, or is it? Yes, yes that, it is. That's global to make a difference mm -hmm. for our children. Absolutely. And you know, with the book that I shared with you on 31 Things to Raise Your Child's Self-Esteem that yes. I did with my good friend, Dr. Judy Kuriansky, that's kind of what we had in mind was to be able to network with individuals right. like yourself. No one person can be out there to make the difference. No, you have it to- It takes a group. It, yes. The Democrats got it right. It takes a village <laughs> <laughs> to raise our kids and everything yeah. else. Well, you know, how are you promoting this totally to get it done? Well, through the website, of course. Mm -hmm. And then also there are uh, some of the Hollywood stars that have put a lot of effort into putting out videos and things, which you can find on the website. But then also, and this is a very special deal. Okay. Because we like a if, deal. yes, if you go to the website and register for this, it's only ninety-seven dollars a, a year. A year, a whole year. That's a deal. And if you've got three children in the family, each one of them can have a separate account, still within that one year's membership. But for a special group of people, and those included uh, that see our show and, and and get involved with with you, then they can get this for twenty-five dollars by sending an email. Wow. To info at kidsclubalabama.com. Say that so one more time. Kidsclubalabama.com, all spelled out. You can do that either. Yes, I can do I mean, I'm not real savvy <laughs> on the computer, but I'm getting there. But you're right, I mean, well, for $25, yes. it's a $97 value for a Absolutely. year. Absolutely. Especially a lot of kids that are being homeschooled and different yes. things today, yes. too, that this would be a great way to help them, too, right? It will be, and see, all they have to do is get this certificate and we would send this to them in the mail. Mm -hmm. Then they go on the website and they follow the little bouncing ball that tells them exactly how to do it. Oh. So, I mean, anybody can do it. And it makes a really good, even if, if it's a grandparent, you know, can do it for a grandchild. That would be wonderful. That's a great idea. We'll also have that up on RX healthylife.com. Thank you, Faye, for coming on the show today and Thank making you. a difference and spending your time and energy and your knowledge to do this for our children. Thank you. You're welcome. And we'll be right back after these messages. Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles is brought to you in part by The Vein Guys. Better legs, better life. Fresh and flavorful. That's Red Diamond Tea. It tastes that way because it's made that way. Every day we brew our tea fresh from tea leaves, not in mixes or powders. Made fresh and delivered fresh to your grocery, ready to drink. There's an art to making the perfect glass of iced tea, and we practice it every day. Drink fresh. Drink Red Diamond. I'm motivational speaker and author Dale Smith Thomas, and my philosophy has always been we should be hope dealers, helping other people excel. Log on to my website, winnersbychoice.com, for your free motivational gift. Let's all change the world. Hi, I'm Sarah Evans here with friends Rollins and Kumar. They're here for care at the Alabama Center for Childhood Cancer and Blood Disorders the largest provider of cancer care for children and young adults in the state. At Children's, we treat every form of cancer and we're committed to a cure. You can be too. Donate now so thousands of kids like Rollins and Kumar will celebrate lots of birthdays, including their own. Hi, I'm Edie Hand. And I'm Ronnie McDowell. And I'm Georgette Jones. Together, we'd love to ask you to support the Children's Miracle Network Children's Hospital. 
That's right, Edie. Your local children's hospital provides state-of-the-art care, life-saving research, and preventative education for children 24 hours a day. And we need your support to continue helping make life better for others. Just log on to childrensmiraclenetwork.org. We, we believe, believe together we can have those miracles. You're watching Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles with Edie Hand and Dr. Daniel Potts. And welcome into Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles with Edie Hand and Dr. Daniel Potts. Today we're going to talk about a variety of things that relate to inspirational issues, to our children, and to businesses. And joining me is really a literally a longtime friend, Steve Condra. Thanks, Edie. Thanks for having me. You know, I, I was thinking you and I were in school together 40 years ago. Yes. And you must have the prescription for a healthy lifestyle because I've gotten old and fat and gray. You look exactly the same. Oh, well, I, ooh, Steve. You can pay me, you you can, pay me later. Yeah, i pay you later. I didn't give you enough money. Hello. Thank mm. you. Well, you know, it, we talk about things that make a difference in our life, but you are quite the businessman yourself. I mean, you're a general manager at uh, with Lambert Books, Mars Hill Bookstore. What all else do you do? Well, I also am the educational minister at my, at my church and an elder there. And so I work with youth a lot. Yes. And I am very fortunate to be able to speak to, in the course of a year, probably over a hundred different groups of young people, all the way from teens to young marriage. And I think sometimes that group gets kind of neglected. What we see on TV is the bad, and we don't really ever see the good about the next generation that's coming on that's gonna lead our country. You know, that's so important, but I love what you do. I know that you entertain also. I do. People might not know that about you. You play you the piano too. I can. I'm the fattest left-handed piano player you've ever seen. <laughs> the oldest piano player you've ever seen. We have the same piano. We'll that's true. Piano. That's true. Well, also, when you're talking with the youth, what is some advice could you give our parents that are out there watching this? Well, I, I just want everybody to understand that what we see on TV with the people with their pants down and the kids in trouble, there's a whole nother group of youth out there. And the youth today are actually uh, being better trained and they have more opportunities to, uh, to advance than we ever did. I mean, they have the computer age now, they can just, you and I used to have to go to the library and go through the stacks to hunt something. Oh, yes. Now at the very touch, they can just touch anything and find anything in the world they want to find out. But with supervision today, you know, that's another thing with parents of that. And when you're at these events today, what do you find are questions that parents are asking or even the kids well, are well, asking? Everywhere I go, the kids say, what can I do to make a, a difference? You know, I want to, what can I do to guarantee that I have a good, successful life? And the, the best advice I give the parents and the children is to, to just practice the golden rule. That goes for you and I and for everyone. Practice the golden rule. I, I, I promise you, if you'll just do unto others, and you can tell a lot about a person by how they treat someone when you go to a restaurant to eat, how they treat the waiter. You can tell how they're going to be when they're, um, how they drive, somebody cuts them off, you know, how they act. But if we'll just practice the golden rule, uh, the whole world will be just so much better, so much better place. You, you know, I, I mean, Zig Ziglar was, was, has been a lifelong friend of mine, and that's what he would always say. He says, always do unto others as you would have them to do unto you. Mm -hmm. And for our youth today, too, you know, being a part of what we've worked with on some things of paving the way to make a difference. And I appreciate what you're doing to, to make a big difference. And I know with your books, uh, you've been very helpful to me. Even Like I said, we were college friends uh, in the arts together. Mm -hmm. But this book right here, you actually helped us like uh, of the women of True Grit when right. we published this book. And, and also you do a lot of Christian books. Right. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. We, uh, we publish a, a variety. We have a curriculum that we do, and of course a VBS series that we do every year. And so what is that? It, a vacation Bible school, right. uh, big curriculum, big thing every year. Kids love going to vacation Bible school every summer. And then we also have on-demand printing where we can print just uh, 50 books or 100 books or up to 10,000 books. And so we have a, a wide open printing operation there. Well, that really helps too. S say for instance, if a child wanted to have their own little book sure. done. We can just do a, a small amount. And also, then we, we also know that if anyone has a, their story they'd like to tell or something of their family. Well, Steve, uh, why don't you share with one of your funnies that you always well, do to make a the, difference? Well, I appreciate that. One of, the, <laughs> one, of the, one of the things that people are always asking me, and a lot of me and a lot of parents say, I'm worried about my child in college because they, they just can't make up their mind. They're just changing their major and changing their major. And I heard about a gentleman one time who was going to find out what his son was going to be. He was in school forever and wouldn't get out, so he had a plan. So he went to his son's bedroom and he put a $100 bill on the dresser, he put a Bible on the dresser, he put a Playboy magazine and a bottle of whiskey. 
He said, now when the son gets home from school, I'm gonna hide in the closet and I'm gonna see which he goes to. Okay. If he gets the money, he's gonna be a businessman. If he gets the Bible, he may be a preacher. If he gets uh, the Playboy magazine, I'm worried about him. He may be a Playboy and a womanizer. If he gets a whiskey, he may be an alcoholic. I'm kind of worried. He hid in the closet. The boy came home from school, threw his books down. He saw all that over on the counter. The boy went over there, he grabbed the hundred dollar bill and it stuck in his pocket. He put the Bible under his arm. He opened the Playboy magazine straight to the center fold and he got the bottle of whiskey and uh, just swigged half of it down. And the old man in the closet said, oh no, it's worse than I ever thought. He's going to be a politician. <laughs> Thank you, Steve, for this Thanks. enlightenment. Thanks. And I'll have your information on our Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles website. That's prescriptionhealthylife.com. And thank you for being a part of Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles with Edie Hand and Dr. Daniel Potts. And we'll be back with more after this. Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles is brought to you by Nolan Services, fine providers of long-term care. Huddle up, Scott Crump Toyota, Camry Option, 35 MPGs, $199 a month. Head in the game, Bubba. Roll savings on three. Right! Hey, Alabama, let's roll on savings in the new 2012 Corolla. $179 a month for new Camrys. Roll for $199 a month. Zero down deliver, 0% financing available. Plus, make no payments till next year. Roll savings! At Scott Crump Toyota. We'll do whatever it takes. Enjoy the latest books from Edie Hand, a portion of sales benefit charities such as St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Visit www.ediehandfoundation.org or your local or online bookstore. Pick up your copies today. A Pocket Guide for the Alzheimer's Caregiver by Dr. Daniel Potts and his wife Ellen helps you understand this disease and get the best care possible. Go to alzpocketguide.com or any online bookstore for your copy. Hi, I'm Edie Hand, here for Scott Crump Toyota in Jasper. Scott and I have teamed up to bring a program to your community to encourage and educate children on the importance of mentorship and self-esteem. Visit our websites. Hi, I'm Edie Hand with Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles. And joining me is two good friends, Jeff Godfrey and Tim Aaron, who is the founder of Optimal Pain Control. This cream really works. It's helped me with my pain, and it can you. OPCRX.com. You're watching Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles with Edie Hand and Dr. Daniel Potts. Welcome into Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles with Edie Hand and Dr. Daniel Potts. We're talking about traumatic brain injuries and we're going to be bringing into the studio with us here today is we're having Susan Voyer and Susan son has been through a traumatic brain injury but she's also quite a businesswoman and entrepreneur and thank you Susan for coming. Thank you for having me. Wow, we've had a deep conversation in a short time. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, what brought you, uh, your journey to become an entrepreneur with, um, and I want you to share that with me of what that's what about. What brought me where yes. I'm at? Well, I've actually worked for myself for over 20 years and just all of my experiences have kind of come together in one place. But the catalyst for that was two and a half years ago, my son was in a major wreck. He had a ruptured aorta, a, a collapsed lung, fractured skull. How old was he? He was 19, and he should not have survived. Um, there was actually an EMT in the vehicle behind the one that hit him. He had gotten off work early to go in Moe's yard. You shared those signs. And, yeah. Um, the way I found out about the wreck is I had just gotten off work, gotten off the phone with him, put it down, walked into a store, and about 10 minutes later, I heard a traffic report. And it just said, bad, ro ro bad wreck this area, take a different route. And I looked over at my sister who was there with me and said, that's Trey. And she thought I was crazy. And uh, I said, no, that's Trey. I just knew it. And I couldn't get a hold, a hold of him on the phone. So I got the store's number and called and said, I heard there was a really bad wreck. Can you just tell me what kind of car it was? And um, the voice on the other end said, it's a young kid named Trey. If you know his mom, call her. Mm. And from what was that, that like for you right then? Um, you're in shock. You know, you just, you don't really know how to process it, but it's very strange. I felt just a sense of peace, just um, knowing what I had to do. And you kind of shift into that. You do. Mode. You just you take over. Something you just do. takes over. You so, what, what was it like do. for you when you, you got to him? Was he already at the hospital? No, I actually got to the hospital before him, and when I got there, they didn't have him there yet. And the only thing they would tell me on the phone, I kept asking how bad was it, and they just kept saying he was hit pretty hard, get to the hospital. 
So I didn't know what I was walking into. When I got there, he wasn't there yet, and I heard a few minutes later that they had med flight a young kid in from where we lived, the area where we lived, and I knew it had to be him, and med flight didn't sound good. And for about an hour or so, they wouldn't tell me condition, wouldn't tell me whether he was alive or dead. Uh, finally, a nurse came out and showed me his wallet and asked if this was my son, and I said, yeah. It's a surreal moment, isn't it? it? Is. I mean, I lost two brothers in car wrecks early ages of 19 and 23, and going through a brother with trauma, I can understand as a sister, but as a mother, um, I think it's another level of um, all kinds of emotions for yourself. And tell me what, what you're doing to help him today and what his progress has come since that nightmare. I will. I, when he was in the hospital, when, about the time I knew he really was going to make it, I remember thinking, why is my child okay when I've seen so many other parents losing their children in front of me? And I knew then I had to be a voice. I had to be a resource to help other people. And from that, I have, uh, my business is called SAV Enterprises. We actually have three different divisions, and two of those divisions work with businesses. The third division works with the community, but our mission is to connect the community. And how, is there a website of how we could yeah. do that? And one of our businesses is HuntsvilleGrapevine.com. HuntsvilleGrapevine.com? Mm -hmm. It okay. is, yeah. But it's an online resource. We want every nonprofit in the area, every support group in the area, everything there in one spot so that people can find resources when they're going something major, through something major in their life, mm -hmm. and they can find those. Well, tell me, with what you're doing for him, how, how is he doing today? He is, I want to get the word about, out about traumatic brain injury. He's physically doing well, emotionally, it's a struggle, it's a roller coaster. People look at him, he looks fine, he's 6'2", big strong guy, mm -hmm. but um, he's lost every friend he has. He emotionally, because things loop in his head with traumatic brain injury, thoughts he can't process, he doesn't have those filters, and people don't understand How are it. you helping him? Being very patient. One day at a uh, time? One day at a time. We've tried several different things. We go to a holistic doctor right now who's been amazing with him and just letting him know that I love him. But when you're 22 and you've lost every friend, it's hard to It's realize. hard to tell yeah. them. Well, I tell you, Susan, we're going to make sure that we get you down and your son, if he would, to come with you yeah. to meet Dr. Daniel Potts in his office. We're going to be there soon. And would you do that with us? I would love to, yeah. Love to well, there. again, we want you to go to her website and also to rxhealthylife.com and look for these sites to help you out there that are going through anything with traumatic brain injury. And Susan Royer, thank you so much for all you're doing for others. And I wish you and your son the best and I'll be praying for you. Thank you. And we'll be back next week, so stay with us. Next week we'll be talking about raising awareness for domestic violence in Detroit, Michigan. A Nashville Star winner Angela Hacker will share her story. Tanya Holly and Lily Holly will be sharing their latest film on overcoming right here on Rural TV.